Hello everyone, this is Triple Fork Artifacts. Sorry I hadn't been with you in a day or so, but I've been kind of wanting to get this on, but I've had to put it off because I've been working so much and come home I've been wore out. But I'm going to start with this here. And I think it might be some kind of a hand tool. Been wedged out right there, chipped out. Got an edge on it, maybe like a hand axe. Let's see here. Looks like, you know, maybe. Palm fits down in there. Or it could have been a hoe. Fits your palm right there pretty good. You got your finger marks right here. So it could have been a hoe to dig with. here it's got a triangle shape on it but it's a pretty thick rock maybe like a hammer stone maybe a wedge I'd say right here another hammer stone but this here's got some grooves in it right here looks like it might have been a they use this part here for maybe start uh, stripping uh, arrow shafts, or it could have been like a hammer stone or something, or it could have been some kind of a wedge on it too. But you can see the craft where they would, you know, work this stuff out. Let me adjust this video here a little bit. And this one here. You see where it's been worked real good. Looks like it's got some finger oil up here. Some hand oil maybe it's used like this. And this little piece right here, you can see all the oil on it on both sides. Looks like it might have been broken one time. Some of this stuff's a little hard to identify, but now this here is really a nice piece right here. You know, these Native Americans, you know, back in the days when these artifacts was made, I mean, this is how they lived. This is what helped support them. It's like our tools and it's their tools. Uh, stuff to cut our meat up with. Uh, you know, different things. Garden stuff. You see the stain here. That's some good work right there. And these right here really got my attention. These right here looks like they've got finger marks. I've got two or three of them right here to show you. And that's getting smooth, polished. You see it's well worked. It's got the straight edge on it right here. It's kind of got a little edge, you know, slant to it right there. But and here's another one. It looks like it had been chipped out, but when your fingers fit right in it, just like that. You know, most of this rock's pretty hard rock. Now here's another one. See the rounded off, maybe polishers, little diggers, cedars. Even this little one right here, it's got finger marks on it. See right there, right here. That might have been a polisher or something like that right there. It's got that flat edge on it right here with a slant. Or maybe 
some kind of a poker. Right here's a pretty nice one right here too. He's got that little slope up right there. Maybe like your thumb and your fingers here. It chipped there a little bit, worked out. It's got a little hole in it right there. But these are pretty smooth, polished, been well worked. Switch hands here. This thing's got like an edge on it right here. I mean, these these can be used for various things. I mean, you can say it's for one thing. It could be for two or three different things. It's got that little. Yeah, that's a pretty good little edge right there too. I mean, that that could cut somebody. Could have been held like that. I don't know. Fingers fit in there. You got a finger joint right here where it's got that little groove right here. Could have been like a scraper of some kind. It's got a little edge on it. Maybe a hide scraper. Here's another piece I got here with quartz in it, but see, it's been cut out. You know, they might have even used this to sharpen blades with or anything. I mean, pretty hard rock. Another piece right here. Now, this one has been broke right here. You see, these are perfectly rounded, too. I mean... They're smooth, polished. This one right here really gets your attention too. A little rough right in here, but it's still pretty smooth. It's got little indentions in it right here. Maybe for like thumb. And that, but it's pretty. It's, I mean, it's pretty solid rock, but the edges have been rounded off on it. Got a little bit of slant to it. Now these look like these might have been in like a miniature pestle, but it's been broke. Or maybe some kind of a pecker thing, peck with, but I think it's a broken pestle or something. Well, this here's got another little, like, uh, let me see. Where to go to one of these up here? It's got that slant to it right here. Well, similar to this one right here, but a little bit different shape. See what's been worked in there and all this smooth. Let's see, you can't really tell much what it is, but it's got an edge on it all the way around. It's pretty flat. It's a hard rock. Got a little bit of design to it. Uh, maybe some kind of effigy, maybe, or something. And this one here. Maybe a hide scraper. Looks like your finger goes right here. See a little bit of oil stain in it right there. And then, plus, you can see the oil stain right here. So I'd say it might be like this, like a scraper. There's another one. Might have been some kind of a blade at one time or something. Or even another scraper. Kind of feels like it fits my fingers right there. A little bit fatter on this side than what it is on this side because it's got like a blade edge on it right there. And that's here. I really can't tell you what it is, but kind of fits in my finger right there but that's flat right there maybe a little 
poker. Sorry about that. Smooth polish, it's got mica in it. Looks like a little quartz in a way. That's smooth on that point. Now you some, you know, pretty rounded off rocks and smooth and polished. Well, this one here's a good one too. I really couldn't tell you what it was used for, but feels like your finger goes in like this, and it could have been a polisher or something like that. Something for something small, maybe even on pottery. And this one here. Now, this one here is a little weird. I couldn't have no idea what it was used for, but I know it was made. It feels like your finger goes in it right there. It could have been turned around this way. Could be for left handed too. And you see your thumbprint right here. And you see where your finger goes right here. Okay, now on my either my first or second video, or not my first, but my second or third I was showing some pottery on there and here was two pieces that I found and I told you they wasn't far from each other maybe a couple of feet or something like that but after I, I done that video I started messing with it and I started looking and these two pieces actually go together they fit right in place and that really got to me right there because I mean I kept it for a while and I kept them a little bit separated because, you know, I didn't think they went together, but they looked like the same, you know, pottery. So I kept them both, and I knew it was pottery. And they got that burn on the other side. Fire baked. But both of them pieces got together, and I wanted to show that again to let y'all know that, you know, that ended up being a one piece. Like it went with my big pottery. But, uh... I'd like to have any new subscribers. I appreciate the viewers that's been viewing and the people that have subscribed for my videos. Like I said, I've got buckets and buckets and I haven't got laundry baskets full of rocks. And I try to go out as much as I can. I hope everybody likes them boat videos I had out on some of the stuff we found there. And, and some, you know, I have been getting a lot of likes on it, a lot of views on a few of them. But I highly appreciate it. And like I said, any new subscribers would be highly appreciated to help me out here. And uh, as soon as I can, I'll get back with you on a new video. Maybe within the next day or two, show you some more things. Maybe it's something a little different. It depends. I got to go through so much stuff. A lot of these rocks, I ain't seen them for so long. Where I just keep going out and keep building them up because... I mean, it's just something I enjoy doing, going out and finding Native American artifacts. They're very interesting, and like I said, just once I started doing it, I really started getting into it. And it's really got into it being a real interesting hobby to me. Plus, I want to learn. I mean, I, I've been checking up the Indians in, within our area, and there's been one tribe that's close to where I live, but most of them are down near the central part of uh, North Carolina and going down towards the coast a little bit. That's where most of them was pretty much uh, hibernating at. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I highly appreciate all my viewers, my subscribers, and I appreciate any new subscribers and viewers. And I'll get back to you on the next one. I hope you all have a good afternoon. And I'll see you on the next video. Good day.